Hi guys, for this video I'm using ER in size 4 medium and the crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 6. Now on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. For row 1 I'll chain 3. Now right here through this loop we need to make 16 double crochet. This 3 chain already counts as 1. Now that we have made 16 double crochet, to complete row 1, right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1. Then I'll cut this yarn. This completes row 1. For row 2, I'll use yarn in different color. Then right there, through the chain where I finished the previous row, I insert the hook, then through the slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain four. Now through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one. Through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row two. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now to complete row 2, I'll chain 1. And right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3, I'll use yarn in different color. Now right here through this first one chain loop, I insert the hook, then through the slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain 3. Now through that same one chain loop, I'll make 2 double crochet. Now I'll chain 1. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. For row 3, we're making 3 double crochet through every 1 chain loop with 1 chain in between.
To complete row 3, I'll chain 1, then right here to his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain 1, then I'll cut this yarn. This completes row 3. Row 4, I'll use yarn in different color. Then right here through this one chain loop, I insert the hook. Then through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain one. Through that same one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain six. Now we're turning this uh, circle into a square. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain six. Through this next uh, one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain six. Through the next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. That's our third corner. I'll chain three. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through this next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. Chain six. Now through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. And this is our fourth corner. I'll chain three. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one single crochet. Chain three. Through the next one chain loop, one single crochet. And now to complete row four, I'll chain three. And right here through this first single crochet chain that we made in the beginning of row, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. And this completes row four. Now for row five in our last row, I'll use yarn in different color. And right here through this first six chain loop, I insert a hook and through a slip knot loop and pull through. I'll chain three. Here we need to make five double crochets, but this three chain already counts as one. So we make four more. I'll chain two, then through that same six chain loop, I'll make five double crochet. Through this next three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next six chain loop, I'll make five double crochet. chain two, then through that same six chain loop, I'll make five double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through 
through the next uh, three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next six chain loop, five double crochet. chain two and through that same six chain loop I'll make five double crochet through the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Through the next six chain loop, five double crochet. chain two, then through that same six chain loop I'll make five double crochet. Through the next three chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Through the next three chain loop, three double crochet. Now through this last three chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. To complete row five, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. And this completes row five. Now I'll weave these ends in. Now this square measures five and a half inches. This is all for today guys and I'll see you next time with another video.